What's happening everybody, the poets here. Hope you're doing well and staying safe. This video is straightforward to the point. I have to put a water cooling sandwich on a GPU. So this is the EK Quantum Vector, the front plate for water cooling. And this is the EK Quantum Vector active back plate. So there's water cooling on the back and the front, making a nice cool sandwich. I'm gonna be putting these on an RTX 3090. So yeah, we know that these 3090s get really, really hot. This one particularly is from an HP Omen 30L. So it's a pre-built PC. Luckily, HP did a, a build with a reference design, which is awesome. So if you have some of these like pre-builds from HP, it's fully compatible with the EK Quantum Vector here. So just kind of go down the list for whatever GP you have on EK's website. They have a compatibility tool and it'll tell you if your particular RTX 3080 or 3090 is compatible with this new active cooling backplate. So this video, I'm just going to show you what I did to basically tear down the HP Omen 30L's RTX 3090 and put it back together with a water cooling sandwich. If you want results for how much the temperatures dropped and they dropped like a rock, uh, I'm still doing more testing, so you're not going to get those results in this video, but make sure you're subscribed and like and share and all that stuff. So in the next video or the one after, you'll get all those results and then you can determine if getting an active cooling back plate and the front plate is worth it for your particular setup. For this 3090, yeah, yeah, it's, it's probably worth it. So let's get into it. And uh, again, let me know in the comments if you have any questions.
So that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know if you have any questions and a big shout out to my partner EK for sending these out. Uh, these have been really interesting review units, especially with this being the first time that I got to actually put an active cooling backplate on a GPU. So again, stay tuned for future videos, like and subscribe if you wanna see the temperatures. They're interesting, let's just say that. I'm still going through some testing, but I wanted to put this video out there so you guys can actually see what some of the process looks like. It's going in this PC right here. Well, it's already in this PC right here. This is the O11 Dynamic Mini Snow Edition by Lee and Lee. Exceptional PC case, absolutely love it. And you can pre-order it now, it pre-orders are live. So yeah, if I didn't already have it, I'd want it again anyway. And this is also the EK uh, Quantum Reflection uh, front distro plate with a D5 pump on there. Lots of RGB, easy to install. So separate video for that stuff too. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like and subscribe, share and all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.